solace me be last night. It was an old, it was a Japanese movie made in 1989, and it was black and white. Um, it's a sci-fi horror film, which, you know, it being in black and white, it's almost paying homage to the old you know, film was back in the day. It gives it more of a, of a, uh, a feel for it, you know. So this movie that I came across was called Tetsuo Iron Man. So I'm like, alright, obviously not Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr. Obviously not, okay, of course. 1989, it's a sci-fi horror flick, okay. Cool. Um, so, so in the premise or summary or synibus, whatever you want to call it, it states that a man gets infected by a virus that is turning him into a monster. And therefore, he must fight others like him in order to find a cure. I'm like, all right, all right, sounds, I mean, you got me, all right, all right, the, it's got me, it's got me interested, you know, I've always loved, you know, how do I say, I always loved things that with the monsters, you know, are turning into stuff like Splice or the cave, you know. When it deals with monsters, my question is, what do they look like? Like, oh, he's turning into a monster. He's fighting other monsters. What do they look like? And obviously, this is, it's got some body horror. Okay. All right. It's nothing I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen some body horror stuff, you know, all, like I've seen werewolves and aliens and vampires and zombies i mean i've seen district nine if you saw district nine that's a body horror he was turning into a freaking alien you know the skin coming off like you know things like that um oh, oh, look at fl the fly the fly uh starring jeff goldberg and gina ferguson i believe that's her name is yeah that's body horror you know it was, yeah, back in the 80s, but still body horror. I mean, the guy was turned into a fly. You know, I don't know how much body horror you can get. The guy was turned into a fly. Well, so, I'm like, all right. What do the monsters look like? It's in black and white. All right. You got me. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. So, in the beginning of the film, you see some guy start to you know, do grotesque things to himself. I'm not going to get into details, but he starts to do things that I wouldn't do to myself, but he starts to do those kinds of things. And as it continues, the main character starts to go crazy, like he's having an issue, things like that. Alright, so does that mean he's infected? If that's the case, how do you get infected? How does that go, you know? So as this movie continues... Apparently, these monsters are called. I don't even know if I can say the word. I don't know if I can say the word. Obviously, the virus, parasite, however you want to call it, the sickness, fungus, whatever the heck you want to call it. It affects, it infects people and sort of turns them into the monster by their desire. Let's go with that. By their desires. Almost like Sweet Home. Never watched the show, heard my friends watch it, but basically the reason why some people were, well, we don't know why exactly, but the people who were affected were people who had suffered loss, who were suffering from, you know, a mental illness, you know, things like that. So, unlike with, in this movie, it seems what is amplifying the virus and for them to come the monster that they are is due to their desire. Um, desire or what's their... I don't know if I can say that word either. The desire, okay? It brings them out the desire. 
This guy's desire happens to be Let's just say, let's just say this movie, like, here's the thing. As the movie continues, it's more like a freaking, like, messed up psychedelic film. I felt like it was, oh my god. The guy gets infected, he starts going crazy and starts to have some messed up funky dreams. On top of which, he starts to do, like, some messed up things to himself just like the guy in the beginning of the film obviously his girlfriend ain't too, too keen on it you know and once it got there's a certain part once it got to this one part I'm not going to get into details of it once it got to the one part where a certain obviously the transformation was starting you know things like that once it started I was done I was like as soon as that part came out I was like I'm done I'm sorry I'm done I'm done because this is getting ridiculous this is getting messed up this is not intriguing I was done I was done I didn't watch the end of it I didn't see how it went I was done. I was done. This was nothing like the the syllabus, the summary, the premise, whatever the heck you call it, said. It said it was he was infected by a virus that is making him a monster, and he has to fight other monsters like him in order to find a cure. Alright? So he's got a virus, okay. And the virus is going by... You know, your mindset. And by your mindset, turns you into a Okay, cool. Awesome. Nope. Nope. The thing of it is, like, all the crap that's in it. Like, I'm surprised I've watched Hostel. Hostel is about a group of backpackers who are backpacking in Europe. And they get lured into this... Hotel that they thought, you know, they were calling to go to this hotel because they thought you're going to have a good time. You know I mean, you guys want to have fun. You guys are going to have fun. You know, things like that. Only to find out that uh, the place that they're going to is where sick and twisted people will do sick and twisted things to other people. And unfortunately, they become the victims only, once, only to have one leave. When I saw that movie, I was surprised. I saw it beginning to end. I'm like... Wow, like, okay, wow, okay, whoa, all right, I see what's going on. Whoa, that's messed up. And near the end, when the guy took revenge on the guy who killed his friend, I was like, yes, go, go, go. Like, da -da -doodle, da -da -doodle. I was happy. This, no, I was done. I was done. As soon as that part came out and I saw what I saw, I was done. No, I was done. I'm sorry, but it was just like. I couldn't even, like, when I watch movies, and depending on how stupid the movie is, I wish they would have made it, like, kind of in a way, the more comical side and that more action in it. Like, when I watched Team America or Ultra America, I think it was Team America, and then, like, America Ultra, it was, like, Jason Bourne, but it was, like, comedy. When I saw that, I was like, I could do better. If they would have taken the comic stuff and things like that, you know, or, like, got rid of that crap, it would have been a lot better, at least, that's what I think, but it is what it is, but this one, I couldn't critique it, I couldn't do anything, I was like, it was like a train wreck, you know, when you watch a train wreck, and you just can't help but watch the train wreck, because you're hoping that you're wrong, you're hoping that by some miracle, the train's not gonna wreck, it's not gonna fall off the track, it's gonna have a smooth, it's gonna redirect itself and go smooth sailing, you know, but you just watch it because you want to make sure you you want to prove yourself wrong. You want to think you're wrong, but you know you're not. You know, this train wreck, I couldn't even watch. I didn't want to watch. You know, I didn't. This was like, okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wreck. I don't want to see it. Bye bye. That's what happened there with this movie. This movie wrecked big time. <laughs> 
I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, at first I thought, okay, this guy's doing something messed up, all right? All right, hence body horror, but this was too much. And you got, like, and his, and his dreams were messed up, and I'm like, what the heck is this? What the heck am I watching? What is this? The movie? Is this a mistake? You know? There are times where the mummy will be on TV, but it's talking about the mummy uh, with Tom Cruise in it. You click on it, and it's the mummy back in 1997, starring Rachel Wise and uh, Brendan Fraser. It's a good movie. But the guide said 2017 Tom Cruise the Mummy. Not 1997 Brendan Fraser and Rachel was the Mummy. Both movies were good though, but still, it's like, you know, here I am thinking, okay, did the system, the channel, or whatever, think it was this movie and think it was the movie that I read and it's not, you know, it must be a typo or something. No, Tetsuo Iron Man, I'm not gonna, nope, I'm not gonna even attempt to watch it again. I'm not gonna touch it. Uh, it like I said, it's a train wreck that I don't want to watch. If it fails, it fails. If it manages to live, it live. Fine, I don't care. I don't want to watch. That was just, not that it was got too much for me. It was like, oh my god, I need to get nightmares. No. It was just like, I'm done. I don't want to see no more. I am done. Y'all lost me, folks. Y'all lost me. I'm done. It, it lost me. It lost me. It lost me. I can't. I couldn't do it no more. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. That's it.